G'day guys, welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Belmain. Today we're gonna to talk about teaching your dog how to leave it. Now, before we get started guys, I'm not a dog trainer or dog expert, I'm merely a German Shepherd dog enthusiast, so please take everything I say with a grain of salt, and if you don't like what I have to say, please move on to another channel. There are loads of trainer channels out there where you can get actual specific advice. This is all from my own personal experiences and things I've learned from professional dog trainers in the past. So, let's get into it. So why do we need to teach our dogs to leave it? Now, I believe teaching your dog to leave it could essentially save your dog's life one day. This had happened, I was walking in one of our local parks the other day and there's a sign up saying that there has been poison bait spotted in the parks. And unfortunately, another dog had gotten into it and succumbed to that poison bait. So in my personal opinion, I think teaching your dog leave it is super, super important. It's probably one of the most important commands that your dog needs to know. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take you through some old training footage that I did with Lucy. I think we taught Lucy this when she was around 14 weeks old. So guys, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna teach you how to teach your German Shepherd or dog to leave it. I thought it'd be really interesting to show you some old archive footage that we had, some vertical iPhone footage of my wife and I as brand new German Shepherd owners teaching Lucy how to leave it. Now we essentially taught three stages here, but the beautiful thing about this video is we are brand new. We've had Lucy for like, Jesus, like three, three weeks or something along the lines of that. We are brand new dog parents and we, we were way out of our depth right at the start. So I think this could relate to a lot of people. A new German Shepherd owner could watch this and take a lot away from it. So let's get stuck into it. So what I'm gonna do, here with Lucy now, so there's three phases to learning the L word. Um, so what we're going to do? How first, cute was Lucy, by the way? I'm going to have the treat in my hand. She knows it's here, and I'll let her sniff it. I'm going to leave it, leave it. So she's already backed off from it straight away. And once she sits back like that, leave it. She's understood. Under my command, take it. Thank you, Papa. Excellent. So that was stage one of the leave it. So. Normally what would happen there, because we were able to practice this the day before, but, and Lucy clued on very quickly, as most little German Shepherd puppies will. So essentially you're going to let them work out. Once they back off and sit down and relax, that's when you give them the treat. And essentially you're reinforcing that behavior of, okay, so when I was trying to get at it, I, they didn't give it to me. But when I sat down and I calmed down, then I was able to have the treat. Phase two. Oh, how cute was she? Like this. Have a sniff. I'm not even sure how old she was. I think she was 15 right weeks. Not even mm -hmm. gonna bother. But I'll sit here and I'll say, leave it. Leave it. Take it. Good girl. She, she knows straight away. And so now that's stage two of leave it. Now. Oh, and so here, god damn, she was so cute. But. Here, you can see I've gone from having a closed palm with the treat inside to now like more like a cage. So she can see it, she can smell it, and then obviously again, your pup may have tried to uh, maybe nudge at it, but would have realized, huh, hmm, I've got to sit down and relax and then they'll give it to me. But obviously Lucy knows the drill. There was no nudging. She just sat patiently and waited for it. Stage three, Lucy. Leave it, leave it, leave it, take it, good girl. So you should always give them the treat. And then stage three was essentially just placing the treat down on the, on the, on the grass and then letting her see it, sniff it, let her sit down, relax, and then she can take it. And then I actually think I do a, a fourth stage here where I place the treat down on the ground and then I back away from it. So then she had all, she, she could have at any moment just swiped it and then run off. But she, again, as we're gonna see here, she's just gonna relax and back away from the treat and then I give it to her. Um, and once they get really good, like this little girl is, oh, you know my bag of treats right here. Leave it, leave it, leave it, take it. 
Thank you. So another great time the leave at command came in handy for us was just the other day. So we're down the beach and Lucy come across a whole bunch of bait and hooks uh, left down on a, on a rock near where she was about to go swimming. She got to it before I did, but I was able to yell at, leave it, and then she left, she left it, which is great. That could have been absolutely catastrophic if she decided to consume the leftover fish heads and bait with the hooks all around it. Um, that inside of her would have taken surgery to remove and a big old vet bill from us. So that was all avoided by the simple command of leave it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, and drop any questions, any comments down below. Please leave them down in the comment section and let us know how you go with your leave it training. Until the next video guys, see ya.